Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, in this section, we'll talk about spread and destructure operators, and we'll also talk about uh, an operator named backtex that was introduced as a part of ES6 index. So uh, let's get started with the spread operator. So I have already created a file named operators.ts. Okay, and I've included the JavaScript version of it, operators.js, in the scripts folder, in the scripts tag. And then uh, I'm already running uh, the TypeScript compiler on operators.ts file. Okay, so let's start with spread. Okay, if suppose I have a, an array, um, I'll call it, say, my numbers array which is a number array and i type in one two and three and then i have another array in my say my numbers array two it's another number array let me just define it in this way okay and uh, the value is four five six okay now if i want to have uh, an array name uh, an array with values one two three four five six uh, what i can do using the spread operator is i can simply use triple dots and specify the name of the array that i want to spread so that would be my number my numbers array it would be i guess all right yeah okay and then a comma after that now if i log um my numbers array 2 to the console save this and reload the page you are going to see that i have an array with values 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so that's how you can use the spread operator you can um, use a triple dots before an array or an object and then you can spread it out onto other object or array okay uh, this was an example with an array let's see an example with an object so suppose if i want to have um a user name okay which would be of type any i'll have two fields in it first name the value is john and the last name with the value do okay and then i have another um object say user details with address as 123 any street and uh, mobile as okay and let's just say email as well as john.do at example.com okay and i wanted to create an object in the user details and such that it also contained a username fields in it what i can simply do is i can use the spread operator in here username and that's how i get the user details with the username fields as well like the first name and last name uh, let's just check this out log it to the console user d sorry user details i'll save this reload and i have address email first name last name and mobile okay so that's how you can use a spread operator in case of uh, objects okay now there are some use cases wherein you can use the spread operator say for example if you have an array with uh, suppose if you have uh, an object with um, 
it taking three values and returning the sum in the form of a number okay would return a plus b plus c and then you call sum and you need to pass the values of this array my numbers array okay what you can do is simply use the my numbers array okay now it it would give you an error because there is uh, there is an issue with typescript it's giving us an error uh, what we'll have to do to fix it is uh, make these optional okay and once we do that the error would go away okay so to make uh, variables or to make parameters optional you can place a question mark after after the name of those parameters and that's how it's done okay so i'll just save this and let's see it should print out six to the console as well yes and indeed it did okay now let's have a look at the at the back text operator suppose i wanted to uh, print out the details of this user here okay um what i can do is i can okay I'll just go up and uh, i'll type in console.log got the user with details okay address now it would be a pain to type in the whole user the whole user details object okay by separating it with a plus and then user dot address and then again a plus and things of that sort sorry this would be user detail here you get the point right so uh, in es6 there is a great way to do this and uh, it's called backticks okay so what we do in backticks is instead of using single quotation marks we use backticks okay and then now we can type in got the user with details address as and uh, whenever i want to print something uh, that is a value of a property i can use the dollar sign and two curly braces and wrap the value pro the, wrap the value of that property okay so something like user dot address okay then we have mobile as dollar user details dot mobile then email as again dollar user details dot email and so on and so forth you get the idea right so what we did is we used backticks then we used dollar curly braces and inside that we used the property the value of which we want to uh, print to the console i will save this and if i go back and reload it will say that got the user with details address mobile email and things of that sort this is how you can use backticks and it's a great it's a great operator to use uh, whenever wherever you want your uh, templates and code to be a bit clean okay it it gives your code a very clean and professional look so uh, backticks is something that you should definitely check out and use okay now let's uh, go ahead and have a look at uh, at destructuring so what destructuring does is it plucks out certain values um, from your object or your array okay so let's just say i have an array or let's just say I have an object 
oh i already do have an object right i have a user name object with first name and last name okay now suppose i wanted to create an a first name property okay what i can do is you know something like username okay now what this will do is this will pluck out a property named first name from this object and assign it to a variable named first name that was declared here okay so when i log this to the console let's just say got first name as dollar curly braces first name save this reload the page got first name as john okay so this is how you can use uh, the restructuring operator you can also use this uh, in in arrays so for example let's say we have an array a we, uh, we want to let's say create a we want to create a variable okay and we have this array my numbers array right so a now will have a value 1 that is the first that is the first value in this um, in this array okay let's just log the value of a to console got a as a I'll save this reload and got a as one okay if I wanted multiple properties like say B and C I can also get them using the destructuring operator that we had here so I can now say B as dollar B and C as dollar C and save this reload and got a as 1 b as 2 and c as 3 okay last thing is we can use the spread and the destructuring operator together so suppose i have the my numbers array right say if i wanted to declare three variables okay mm, x y and z okay and uh, the array that i wanted to plug these values from was my numbers to array okay in this case the value of x would be one the value of y would be two and the value of z would be an array that contains the numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. To prove this, let me just log this thing to the console as well. So got x as x, got y as y, and got z as... Now, since we are using the backticks in here, and we are wrapping this inside dollar uh, curly braces z here would would get printed as a comma separated string okay so if i save this and reload it would say that x as 1 y as 2 and z as 3 4 5 6 if you wanted to check whether this is actually an array or not you can instead of doing it like this you can uh place it outside this like so save this and again if you go back it would get printed as an array okay so this is how you can use the spread as well as the destructuring operators together okay next up we'll have a look at classes okay so i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot Bye.